Hey guys, Sam here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be building a gym attachment. So in this time that we call coronavirus, you know, the best time in the world, we're pretty bored, shifts have been cut, nothing's really going on at the moment, so we're sitting at home doing nothing, just training, and just playing Xbox and stuff like that. So we decided, you know, let's do something a little bit different. So we're going to be building a gym attachment. So today, pretty much, it's just going to be an attachment. It's a ball attachment that just goes... Going on this, um, it's just used for you know triceps, forearms, and just grip strength. So yeah, I'm um, gonna get started from that. Don't really need much, just some equipment from the local hardware, a drill, and that's about it. Yeah, don't get me started. We're not we're not professional builders or anything. So if we can do it, honestly, anyone can do it. And yeah, we're just gonna document it and see how we go. So you know, let's get started. For this, we're gonna need a tennis ball or a couple, a few eye bolts. Some carabiners, a knife, spray foam, plastic dip, some super glue, a drill, and some gloves. All right, so this we're going to need some six by sixty-four mil eye bolts, some small carabiners, a few regular tennis balls that are hollow on the inside. Super glue, a knife to cut the tennis balls open. We're gonna need a, a 5.5 mil drill head as these eye bolts are six mil in um, diameter and we want it to be just a bit small. We want the hole to be just a bit smaller so they can actually screw in. Um, so we're gonna use, use some foam fill and also some plastic dip. Also for your protection of the hands. All right, so pretty much I'm just going to draw kind of the, the plan of what we're going to do here, just so everyone can get a general concept. Don't get me wrong, I'm no artist, I'm no Picasso, I'm no Pablo Picasso. I've got my ears, so I'm not Van Gogh. Um, but, you know, we're going, to, we're going to draw something up and, you know, give me two seconds and, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Gosh, all right, so that's the ball. Like that. Six and a half hours later. Yeah. All right, so pretty much this is what we, this is what we're gonna do. So this is gonna be tennis ball. So we'll just write T ball. We've got the eye bolt that's gonna go down in the middle. So it's gonna be down on the inside. So that's the you know the on. So it's an eye bolt. Then we've got the carabiner. So this is what's gonna be you know obviously carabiner. So it's going to be attached to the top there. So we go, you know, Pirates of the Carabiner, you know, Pirates of the Carabiner. All right, so now the tricky part. We're going to, on the inside, we're going to fill the spray foam. So we're going to have a nozzle on the inside like that. <laughs> a little bit of, you know, bing, bam, bop. And so this is foam. And that's going to go all on the inside, all inside, fill, fill the bad boy up. So, you know, it's all going to be filled on the inside. And then we got the, the plastic dip that's going to go, you know, around the outside like so to give it a nice rubber coating. Okay, this ball will be nice to grip. That's what we're going to have. All right, sweet. So pretty much that's what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> and we're going to be making something like that. And yeah, you know, hopefully it looks a bit better than this, but you know, sign that bad boy off. Sweet. Masterpiece. Let's do it. Right, so step one is what we need to do is we need to drill a hole straight down the middle of the tennis ball where the eyeball is going to go. So we'll do that now. Grab a sharpie or a marker, doesn't really matter. Look, we're just going to eyeball where it needs to go. Um, the middle looks about, I don't know, something like that. Pretty good. So just mark a hole in the middle and that's just so you know where you're actually drilling. Just going to get the drill and we're going to drill a little hole in it. The best thing is not to go full hard on the drill, just go slow and steady and then put pressure and then, and then you'll pop a hole in the ball and yeah, it's all be sweet. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so this 5.5 mil hole should fit perfectly this 6 mil eye bolt, which we'll just slide on in there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, sweet. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. All right, so for step two, we're gonna slice a slit here, just so we can screw the bolt in and then eventually fill it with the foam filler. So I'm just gonna mark a line here, bit straight. Just gonna grab the knife. 
and then just go for it. Or at least try to go for it. Yeah. Nice and easy. Just want to be able to fit a finger in there just so you can screw the bolt. Step number three, we've got to actually screw the eye bolt in. So you grab your bolt, chuck her in like that. She go straight in, beautiful. And as you can see, she's in there. You gotta get the screw, oh, the bolt. You gotta actually get it on there. It's a bit fiddly, but once you get it on, screw it a little bit. Doesn't help if you've got fat fingers like me. And after you get the bolt on, you just wanna hold it on the inside, hold it against the surface, and then just twist the eye bolt and the bolt will go all the way back up. Makes it easier than screwing it. So we now have the bolt all the way at the top. So this ain't coming out. It's perfect. All right, so now we really have the general concept of what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna basically be like that. You might be like, you know, well, why can't I just use it like that? Well, I'll show you because any type of pressure you put will just pull the ball down. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. As you can see, the ball is really, really stressed right there. And honestly, after it, when you put a little bit of heavy weight on it, we've only got very light, we've only got 10 kilos. But as soon as you put any weight on the actual ball, it would, the ball's just gonna pop out. So we need to fill this void so it's more solid more sturdy and more durable and also so the bolt holds in longer so what we're going to do is we're going to use some instant foam so some spray foam it's used for insulation it's used for filling gaps and like holes and stuff and we thought it would be absolutely perfect because you know it's quick dry and just foam straight back up you don't need that much of it so you can use it multiple times and yeah so we're going to spray foam the inside let it dry it'll give a nice sturdy ball and be good all right, so this is pretty simple with spray foam. All you gotta do, you gotta spray it. You gotta fill this about 30% because it expands three times the size. So you gotta fill it 30% of the, the ball we're about to here and then it will expand the whole way. Our goal is to overfill it so a little bit comes out of this hole and we'll just cut it off later because you'd rather have it solid and it will actually help um, seal that gap. So yeah, it depends what one you have. It's pretty cheap. This one was about you know under 10 bucks and yeah it's, it's pretty good use the instructions on the back of it um because each one's different and we're just going to spray foam the inside and see how it works also you probably shouldn't do it in a white jump up <laughs> but who cares just go for it pretty much all right, all right so this was the ball, it's pretty much dry now. So you gotta be sure not to overfill it um, like we did, cause it just kept uh, expanding out. We underestimated the foam for sure, um, but that's all right. So we just were wiping off the foam as it goes and then we just let the rest dry. Um, but it's pretty much dry now, as you can see, it's like you can just touch dry, nothing. And it's pretty like, it will come off. So it's not completely dry cause it, it should go a bit more solid than that. But um, now it's just time, we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna spray paint it, give it a coat because yeah, there's, it's all on the inside. We can paint the outside. Get a, get a blade, be safe with it. Cut away from you. We're just going to cut the excess off. Part is optional, but we are going to super glue just a little line, just a tiny little line down where we cut the hole open and just a little bit on the inside there just so it doesn't, it doesn't crack open, doesn't pull out. We're just putting some extra safety there because you can never be too safe. All right, cool. All right, so super glue could dry it up. So now we're just gonna do a quick um, spray paint. So we're gonna spray it with some uh, some plastic dip. So this is just a rubber coating. It's multi-purpose and it's perfect for this as a we'll use it as a grip, and you can use it on rubber, fabrics, rope, etc. So what we're really gonna be using that's what this material is. It's a tennis ball, so it will fit on perfectly. So we're doing we're gonna do a couple of coats all the way around. Um, probably about half an hour in between coats, probably do three, three, four coats, and that should be our grip. So yeah, let's get it. Also, we're gonna spray two balls at a time because we made a couple of balls. 
Um, if you're just doing one, it's fine, but we're just going to do a couple at a time. So that's why you'll see a couple there. Yeah, all right. Our little homemade spray booth. Um, as you can see, we've got one bit of string across the whole the whole thing. It's just a little Kmart bucket. It costs us, what, five bucks? Because we're spray painting two balls and they're all hitting each other, um, I've just made two little bumpers out of masking tape. And then I've just covered the, the chrome bit of the, the eyeball in uh, masking tape too. number two now coat number three All right, cool. So it's been about five hours now. It looks like it's completely dry, four coats done. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So the grip's pretty cool. It's very, very rubbery, it's good grip. Um, tennis ball works perfectly as it creates like an uneven surface. So it adds like extra grippage. What you do is just fill the gap up with super glue. Um, this is just to give you know, an extra little bit of uh, protection. So just pretty much putting super glue all around in the gaps in there, in there and sweet, and just let it out dry quickly. Um, super glue, you know, it's dried up nicely, nice and clear, but good solid with that, it's nice. All right, so we're just gonna do a test now, a quick cheeky test. So we're just gonna do a tricep push down, just grab it straight away, 10 kilos on. Oh, look at that. It actually works. Sweet. You can do it for multiple things. Use it for rows. There's just heaps of, heaps of forearm attachments for the cables. Because it's a DIY one, I honestly wouldn't recommend putting too much pressure on it because you know it's it's not hot, it's a tennis ball with a pin in it, so you don't want to go that bad, like that crazy. But you know, it still works for lightweight. So if you want to do something like some forearm work. Works pretty well. Beautiful. Well, that's our DIY ball attachment. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know, let us know if you've got any better ways to do it. But you know, I'm pretty happy with how this actually turned out. So, you know, something different, but works well. All right.